what's up welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are excited for today's video i'm gonna be doing um a smoky green eyeshadow which is my favorite color green if you guys didn't know so if you guys are into makeup continue watching please and thank you if not please exit out and watch some of my mukbang videos or some of my like challenge videos and make sure you like those videos and please subscribe to my channel and give it a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy this video today yeah enough of this chit chat let's go Oh, hold on i swear to god i thought i would get it this time you know what slide left slide right slide whatever wait okay i'm back you guys so let's get into this look i already did my eyebrows with my um pomade anastasia barley hills eyebrow gel so yeah to be honest this could be my first time doing a green look and fun fact about me green is my favorite color literally green and pink it's my like go-to not my go-to but like my favorite colors i wish they were both like really wearable without you like seeing your problems on your body hold on you guys look at this oui oui mademoiselle <laughs> i'm kidding and i'm going in with my color corrector pro conceal la girl i love this I honestly enjoy using this um, Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter as my like, I don't know how to, like as my BB cream because it does its job, you know, and it's really hard to find like cover ups that actually like cover everything the right way without making you look too funky or anything like that and for some of y'all who are new to my channel or you're already like a subscriber i like to normally do like a coat of um cover up before i do my eyeshadow and then that's when i go in with the concealer and contour so for today's look i'm gonna be using two different eyeshadow palettes i'm gonna be using Beauty Treats Color Obsession Eyeshadow Booklet and I'm going to be using Beauty Glaze Gorgeous Me Eyeshadow Tray. So this is going to be my, my first time doing a green eyeshadow look and these two palettes um, have the color greens. They have different kind of greens. This used to be like one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes over the summer, literally. And then this one is kind of like one of my faves but not necessarily I don't really use it that much well I use the orange a lot but yeah and I'm gonna be going in with the color pumpkin for my crease really quick with the color obsession the only thing that sucks about these is that they don't come with mirrors so if you're wondering why I'm looking over there it's because that's where my mirror is. Mm -hmm. and now to go over my crease 
I'm going to go over it with the color line, which is this color right here. And I'm going to be using the Anastasia Barely Hose brush. Let me bring my mirror over here so I can see a little bit more better. This looks so bad right now. Hopefully it gets better. Okay, now I'm done with that palette. Now I'm going to go in with my Beauty Glaze Gorgeous Me eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to go in with like this turquoise green like right here. And I'll be using this color, this color, this color. But I should give you guys a heads up. <laughs> Okay, now that I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with this, um, oh, I couldn't see it. I'm going to go in with this shade right here for the, um, my, my crease, my eyeball part. I don't know what that part is. So, I'm going to cut my crease right now with my NARS Light One Chant Chantilly, Chantilly Concealer. Yeah. I'm trying to like give it like this ombre effect so hopefully it works if it doesn't at least I tried oh, this green's so pretty y'all I never done a look like this because I was always scared that it'll look like I have a black and blue instead of looking like eye makeup so cute I like so I'm going with the turquoise really quick here Little dark blue. Let's 
we like. Now that I'm done with that eye, I'm going to go in with this eye. Let's see if I remember what I just did. So I finished this eye off the of camera because I need to lift up the mirror a little bit more so I could be able to see because I couldn't see what I was doing. And yeah, I hope you guys like it so far. You know, I thought it was going to look like black and blue. Now I'm about to go in with my contour cream kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And yeah, I'm about to use the shade Fear and Banana for under my eye in my highlight area. This is the shade Fair. And I do use my hands. And now I'm using the shade Banana for right here like a big mess right now but he'll come through watch and now I'm about to use the shade neutral for right here area and my neck because you never want to neglect your neck And with contouring my face, I'm about to put, go in with my setting powder. Are you guys ready for me to look like powder? I always say this, but I feel like I do. That's set it in. I'm about to go in with my contour, the True Complexion Contour Palette, light to medium. And I'm going to be using these two colors right here, my two go-tos. I love contouring a little bit high up because who wants to look once when I look young forever? No, I'm kidding. I just want to look like, you know, a little young when I wear makeup the way I do without makeup because sometimes makeup can age you when you're wearing it.
I love to give myself like a pinched nose even though this kind of looks like a crooked nose right now yeah, that looks a little better okay. you know I'm about to blend it all out I blend it out. I'm about to go in with my blush from my Beauty Gems. I do not know the shade of this blush. I just know it's really pink. I like to dab it because I feel like when you brush it, it gets everywhere. And I don't like that. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. This is literally my go-to highlighter. I live for it. Done with my highlighter. I'm gonna go in with my in studio eyeliner so like that I could give it some life, you know. Whatever. Go and finish my eyeliner off camera and now I'm going to add some green eyeshadow under my eyes, both of them. I feel like when I add it under my eye, it gives my eyes more of a like a baby doll look. So let's hope that's what it looks like with the green. And now I'm gonna go on and glue on my eyelashes. I have the 510 Black Human Hair Eyelashes, the Broadway eyes. And I'm gonna be using my Super Strong Hold Glue. This look, I'm about to go in with my Anastasia Burley Hills Contour Cream Palette and I'm going to be using the Java in Havana for my lip liner. These two right here. I like to mix them.
I like it. I like making my lips so big to a point where I look like a brat doll. So now I'm about to like do like something really weird and put three different lipsticks on. And I'm gonna start off with my e.l.f. I don't, okay, actually it does say the shade. Natural. I don't look natural. It looks like an ashy pink. And now I'm about to go in with my Revlon HD Matte Lip Color. And I guess that's why we're doing three because these are new to me, so. I normally like to mix um, lipsticks, lip glosses, because I normally get like a different color and it's normally a nice color. And now I'm about to go in with my lip gel. Lip gloss. My finished green smoky eye eyeshadow look. You see? You guys like it? Um, if so, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But I also feel like it's missing something, and I'm supposed to give myself a little um Marilyn Monroe moment. Ooh, I kind of like it. I kind of feel like um the chick from Sex in the City, Samantha. I don't know. I hope that's her name because I feel like that's every slut to me. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. I take that back. <laughs> okay. Well, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And please make sure to, um, to subscribe. I'm <laughs> sorry. All my social media will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on my Instagram or on Snapchat. And I hope you guys have a good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time it is, whatever time you're watching it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If not, I'm going to fail on YouTube. And yeah.